Hey, what's up YouTube? How are we doing? This is Chris Zanto. Today we're going to be doing a review of the inexpensive microphone system from Fine Fine. Hope everybody's been doing okay. Sorry we've been missing you due to the COVID pandemic. Uh, so we've been pretty much stuck here, not much to do, but no better time than to look at inexpensive gear. So check out this review of the Fine Fine dual microphone system. If this is your first time to the channel, please consider subscribing. We are pretty much dedicated to finding inexpensive gear for mobile DJs, home DJs, disco enthusiasts, and whoever likes to have a little fun with some technology, be it live sound or lighting. So please sit back, relax, enjoy this review of the Fine Fine Dual Microphone System, Dual Handheld Microphone System, which comes in at under $120. All right, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this. We have a Fine Fine technology that's Fine, fine. But it is a dual handheld wireless microphone, dual channel receiver with 50 selectable UHF channels. So you do have selectable channels, which is cool. And full disclosure, I have already opened this. Um, I already put it into my rig and took it out back in a couple months ago, just right before this crappy pandemic hit. So um, I think I got everything back in the box exactly the way it is. It might be slightly different, but nonetheless, let's see what we got. Windscreens, anti-roll devices, one black, one gray. These are to put on the microphone so they don't roll off the table. I don't like how they look, so I don't use them, but um, I take that back. I have used one once. Uh, it's a little weird, but to give a, a guest that uses a microphone, it actually kind of sits in the butt of their hand like that too, and they won't roll off their table because they've been power cord. Dual antennas, the dual mics, we have the receiver, and we also had a mono quarter inch jack. All right, so there was a jack in here, I took that out because I needed a different, um, you could actually use it with XLRs as well, and that's what I preferred. So, uh -huh. this is the back of the box, you have the two balanced outputs and a mix out, which allows you to uh, use the volume controls, the gain controls, which are right on the front of the unit and set it out to one input, um, which is how we will test it out later today. Your two antenna jacks. We'll put the antennas on. They simply are going to get snapped on just like that there. A little click on and a little twist. Boop. So you have your display, you have your two gain knobs, volume or volume A, volume B, and a power button. That's pretty much it. All right. Then you have your two handheld units. Um, they are metal and plastic. They're both. They're nice. They're heavy. They got some good weight to them. Just like uh, the other. Actually, I think they were a little bit nicer than this microphone here. They feel a little bit nicer. Um, I already did put batteries in them. They do take. In the compartment, we have two AA batteries. And you also have a little button in order to change the channel. All right, you can change the channel on these, which is awesome. Um, the channels don't have the hugest variation. Now I do need the instructions. This is a bigger instruction manual than I'm used to for most of these products. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Hey, you should hold it within six inches of your mouth as it says right there. That's sure I like this picture. Oh. All right, so your frequencies change by two tenths every time you switch it between 573 and 583 on one mic, on mic A, and mic B is 585.1 to 594.9. I'm gonna plug it in to show you the front of it, and then we're gonna get outside and give it a test. All right, so we have the unit on. No, we don't have it on. <laughs> power. I'm gonna push the power button. You're gonna see the display. We have channel 15 and 18, 576.3 and 588.5. And if I turn on one of these, you're gonna see channel 15, which is that guy there, and it will show 576.3. Check, two, three, four. I don't know if you can see that little meter going, but it is, we are connected. And mic number two, which is 588.5, channel 18, and that is also working. You do have RF strengths, and, and you have the attenuation, so when you do speak, you do see these meters go up. 
you do have a little battery indicator light and if you do press it you do see the frequency which matches up on the display on the unit you pretty much have a simple push and hold to turn it off which is cool check two 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 check two 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 you can see the displays following up, moves with the microphone, it's nice. Changing channels, we have to come in here and push the button. And you'll see that it's changing right here as I do it. It's popping, it's going on up. And they are matching up, one click at a time. All right, check, check. Very simple, and like I noted before, you do have these control knobs on the front, which are kind of gain and or volume. Now when we take this out and test it, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hardwire it straight into the camera, so you're gonna get the exact audio. Um, so obviously you tweak things, but uh, that way we'll get a nice distance test on them, and we'll see what you think. All right, we're going to do another test. We have the Fine Fine Dual Wireless Microphone System plugged directly into the camera. The unit is sitting in the back of my van, doors open, GoPro on it. We're running off of a battery, and um, it's sunny and bright, and we're going to walk down there. So I'm going to zoom the camera in, and I'm going to uh, let Heidi start. And she's, hi, Heidi. Hi. <laughs> and she's going to start walking. Start walking. Here we go. Keep her talking. I go walk to midnight. Or afternoon. Oh, look at all the clouds. And I'm going to try to catch up. <laughs> you can't catch me. I'm trying to catch up to Heidi. You can't catch me. She's very fast. There's she's pretty very posing. fast. Slow down, kid. Slow down. Can you hear me? <laughs> I bet I you can know. hear okay. me now. She's going really far. I don't think we're going to have any signal that Is far. Is this too far now? I have no idea. I don't know how far we went before. We went, you know how far we went? went right up to this dirt road. At and then we oh, this? Oh, that dirt road? There's a... That's a dirt road, she says. Dirt road. Somebody went off the beaten path and yeah, went four-wheeling or something. So um, we're quite a distance now. And I'm going to turn this camera around so you can see the distance we're at. And I'm not going to go any further because we didn't have yeah. super success the first time. And Maybe it'll work this time. <sighs> okay, windy. Wow, babe. <laughs> I'm working the COVID-19. <laughs> All right. Yeah. our final review of the fine fine dual microphone system coming in at just under 120 dollars on amazon unfortunately don't believe it's available right now um i assume it will be soon but that's what we got All right. what do you got is that what you want sure she likes it i think she likes it <laughs> all right we'll catch up with you in a little bit Ooh, butterfly pretty butterfly oh i didn't get it Hey, thanks again for checking out this review of the Fine Fine Dual Microphone System. Uh, we do like the system at $115.99, available on Amazon this month. It is, we're going to give it four out of five stars based on price, ease of use, and um, distance. I mean, we got pretty good distance out of this. It's not an expensive microphone. It is kind of a what you see is what you get, basically on and off. The signal strength, it doesn't change channels for you automatically. It uh, doesn't pick the best one. You have to do that with your uh, kind of just checking it out and checking out the meters. But I do want you to note that the meter <laughs> says full bars right here and it's there's the receiver's not on. It's not connected to anything. So I'm not sure why it has full bars. So it's kind of up to you, but we did have pretty good luck and there is a decent selection. So uh, we like it. We also like that it comes with windscreens. The anti-roll device, which I'm not crazy about, but as for giving people that don't use a mic that are going to set it down after they've um, had a few drinks, and we've all seen them roll off the table before, so it might be a good little safety thing, but no mute button and no, uh, no filters whatsoever. So it is, like I said, it's easy, it's simple, it's inexpensive, it gets the job done. If you're just starting out, karaoke, home DJ, 
you know you just need it for the uh, small bar job and you're going to be doing some stuff here or there outside it's i think it's going to be a decent mic so check it out all right guys once again this is chris thank you for watching this review give me a thumbs up if you like to give me a thumbs down if you don't subscribe and I hope everybody is well and everybody survived COVID. I hope everybody's family is safe and hopefully we'll see you on the other side of this. And thanks again for watching this review, guys. We'll see you real soon. Peace.